Hey YouTube, this is Facial with Simply Lavish at Home and today I am featuring this tap that you can use to make a watermelon keg that I purchased on Amazon. And I am trying it out for the first time in this video. It comes in two parts, the actual tap and this little tool to allow you to make a hole for the tap to go. So first I started out by cutting the top off of a watermelon and hollowing it out. You can see I have all the meat in a bowl right over there and um, you can see also that I kind of cut a little bit off the bottom to level it off so it can stand on its own and what I use to hollow it out is just a regular long cooking spoon so I took the meat and I put it in the blender to liquefy it because I'm going to use that for the drink that's going in to the keg so I put it in, let it, let it do its work. And then when I pulled it off, I took it over to a strainer in my trusty drinks only bucket and let it strain. So it'll separate all the good juices from what's left over of the pulp once it comes out of the blender. And I just let that hang out while I did some other things and let it drain on its own. So now that it's all drained, I'm adding in some pineapple juice now this did come from a recipe that I'm going to link in the description. Did I follow the recipe? Probably not. I just poured till I thought it tastes good. So there we also have some lemonade that I'm pouring in. And again, I'm not really following the recipe. I just use the recipe for guidelines of what to put in it. And then I just pour things in. So I encourage you to do that. Like when you're experimenting with drinks, figure out what flavors that you like and just indiscriminately pour it in and figure it out as you go. So in there goes some white rum that again I'm just pouring. And then next up we have um, some melon flavored vodka. Um, next we have some peach schnapps. While you're watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so it lets you know every time Simply Lavish posts a video. And finally, there was some coconut flavored rum that also went into this drink. So there was a lot of alcohol in this drink. Definitely not something for the kids. So once I got that in, I got that all stirred up and I tasted it and decided that it needed something. So it needed a little bit of sour. So I added the juice of a lime to that and then put it in the freezer, covered the bucket, put it in the freezer. And now I'm testing out the tap. So now that I have the hollowed watermelon, I poured, put water in it. Um, I wasn't going to put the alcohol in it to test it, but I wanted to check it for leaks to see if there was going to be any leaks. And no, it worked out perfectly. It was really easy to put on. Literally one step um, after you cut it on, it just, you literally screws through the hole that you put in the watermelon. And again, I'm just letting it run to make sure to see how long it'll work before. And there you also see me using that tool to pull the plug out of the watermelon. And I thought it was gonna be hard, and I was all prepared to get my drill out, but it was really easy to get that hole in there. And you see there is that gasket on the inside that um, allows the thing to stay on and the water to go through. And here is the guest using it. It was really easy. So this is one another gadget that I would highly recommend for your summer gatherings. So let me know what you think. Um, leave your comments below. I'm also going to put a link to the actual items um, in the description as well as the recipe. And thank you so much for watching. Till next time, here's to living simply lavishly. Cheers.